Hello folks, this is A Automotive Reviews. Thanks for coming to the channel. Thanks for watching. And thanks for subscribing. I love you guys for supporting me. We got the 2021 Ford Bronco. It nearly had an awesome Jeep future according to CarBuzz. Now, Ford designers and engineers had one more major target in mind when designing the all new 2021 Bronco. The Jeep Wrangler for years has dominated the off-road SUV segment. With this retro inspired Wrangler, but the Ford Bronco claims to shake things up. Yeah, the Jeep did for years rule the segment. Let's take a look at the Jeep. As we go through all the beautiful Ford Bronco picks. What an awesome looking SUV. Now if you know the Jeep Rubicon folks. Let's just take a look at it. They dominated the segment for years. Now. But the Ford Bronco aims to shake things up. If you look at the Jeep Wrangler, I mean, you look at the uh, folding windshield here. Just in case you're not familiar with it. As you see, it folds flat. It's a great design. But then we go back to the Ford Bronco. Not only did Ford engineers team need to ensure maximum off-road capabilities, but the Bronco itself had to act and look the part. Compare the two side by side, and there are many similarities. As you saw the earlier picture, removable doors, roofs, but there is one feature Ford opted against. A folding windshield. Why? Now speaking of Ford Authority, Bronco Chief Designer Paul Reid stated, Early designs did indeed have one, but there were issues. Now, a folding windshield brings with it some problems, he explained. It does provide the user with a fairly rare event since you start getting into things like flat windshields which is a compromise construction around pillars. This complicated things to a point where designers decided it simply wasn't worth the time and effort. But they still went to great length to provide drivers and passengers with plenty of wind in their faces. So what we actually really wanted to do is to provide a very umpen ear feel. In order to do that, what they did is then out the pillars. As much as they could, which is why they had to use sport tubes for the airbag. Rate said. It provided people with a very safe envelope for people to sit within. And if we take a look again at the uh, G Rubicon, we see the windshield. Again, these are opportunities for open air fill. And I don't know if it's going to make or break your decision to buy a Bronco. I love the Bronco. The Jeep is also an awesome SUV as well. But that open air feel is what the Ford designers wanted to look. And they wanted this feeling of that open air. So they're not losing. And it does provide a safe envelope. 
And that safe envelope is for people to sit within. So when you look at the trade-offs, according to Raid, we think we made the right one. But it's very safe, very open, and a good experience. And they think they made the right trade-off. Definitely open air. For an open experience. Chances are... Future Bronco owners won't care that their windshields can't fall flat. Because the SUV does so many other things right. One example is a four-door model. It allows owners to easily store the doors in the cargo section behind the rear seats. Now these doors are lightweight and easy to move around. A contrast to the Wrangler heavy, heavier units. Could Ford offer a folding windshield at a later date? Possibly, but highly unlikely. Given there'd be very little benefit sales wise to do such a thing. Now, let's go back and refresh on some things. We know the Ford Bronco is going to start at 28,500, and that's going to give you 310 horsepower. Which is nothing but awesomeness, folks. Awesome to the T. Now, after 25 years of market absence, the legendary Ford Bronco made its triumphant return for the 2021. But unlike the originals, there's now a four-door version available alongside the traditional two-door body style. Not only is the uh, 2021 Bronco a suitable daily driver, but it can tackle just about any off-road situation. And Ford has gone to great lengths to ensure this with a ton of optional equipment. In fact, there are more than 200 factory backed aftermarket accessories for this baby. And that is nice. And yes, the Jeep Wrangler is the Bronco's primary target. Combined with a quasi-retro exterior, a fully modern interior, removable doors and roof, the Bronco represents a new beginning of off-roading for Ford. Its affordable price makes it accessible to millions of anxious buyers, many of whom have been waiting years to see this day. But the big question remains, will the new Bronco put a significant dent into the Jeep Wrangler sales? That is the big question. Now time will tell. But what's certain is that the Wrangler has never faced a more serious rival. Actually, there were no rivals. The Bronco has those tough as nails exterior. Now, Ford certainly stayed true. To the one Bronco styling, but added plenty of modern touches. Notice the flat, no nonsense surfaces with clear cut edges and square proportions. It also features a wide stance enhanced by flare fenders with a quick release attachment to make customization easier. Ford Blue Oval is absent on the, on the front grille, instead, the Bronco name is spelled out. As you can see, Bronco baby. Ford Blue Oval is awesome and it's a great trademark but instead Bronco name is spilled out the Bronco can be had in two or th uh, three two or four door configurations I was gonna say three because I was thinking about the back door but it's the best in class 11.6 inch uh, ground clearance a set of 35 inch tires are available the two door has a removable three section roof while the four door has a four section roof a cloth roof is standard on a four door version and a hard top is available for both the frameless doors can be removed and stored inside along with the roof. Tell me which one would you want. Would you want the soft top or would you want the hard top? Now, the one that would be easier 
the easiest to do would be the soft top. So you have choices. The Bronco even had a seat, a set of, of cool call mounted side mirrors to keep the side view visibility when the doors are removed. All hard tops feature rear quarter windows that can be removed in three steps. To both emphasize its off-road focus and because they just look cool, there are trail sights on the front fenders as you can see here. And you can just stack tie downs on top of the roof and they can, you can do up to 150 pounds capacity for the roof mounted objects like such as canoes and stuff like that. So there's so much versatility and there's so much room for adventure with the Ford Bronco folks. I mean it's just endless. This is A.R. Automotive Reviews. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I appreciate and with the most gratitude you guys coming to this channel. There's millions, millions of them you can go to instead. Much love. And remember, if no one told you today, I'm telling you that you are fantastic. You are awesome. Constant changing. Never the same. Many blessings. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe for more interesting videos.